humble myself as, as a woman and I'm gonna apologize to my husband. My name is Javi and My name is Mr. St if you are new, remember to subscribe so you can get more of our content. And let's get straight into today's video. What are we doing today? Um, today we're gonna reply of many, many, many questions that we see on Instagram. Yes, Instagram. if you follow us on Instagram for we just celebrated our first year anniversary. Um, since our wedding day and we asked you guys um, to send us some questions via IG um, so that way we can end us reflecting over the first year of our marriage <sighs> how it has been what we learned things like that and answering some of you guys questions as well let's get into it let's so, get into it guys let's do a brief um, recall of wedding like the wedding season how was that for us it was a moment that i, I was waiting um a long time um, because of our long distance yes. you know and i was so excited and at the same time i i was so like how can i say that nervous nervous yeah because you know it's gonna be a next time yeah, next yeah. Next step of your life and there is thing we didn't know yeah. or they gonna be yeah. like it. So um yeah it was like the month of July was full of a lot. Um we went there a month early before our wedding almost um because we had to set up like you know tasting which was really good um kind of have some time for like you know ex um, exploring on our own and seeing like how the like details of the wedding is gonna be um prepping for a bridal party to come that was phenomenal having a week with or bridal party at the airbnb uh -huh. before the wedding how would you describe that moment like us deciding to like when i go to the traditional bachelor bachelorette party like the girls go on their own and the boys go on their own we're gonna combine them we're gonna be at the same place together we're gonna have a week just having fun together. It was so fun. We we take time to know each other. Yes, I was gonna get into that too. Yeah. yeah. I think it was very important for us because our bridal party came from everywhere. We have families from Canada, family from France, yeah. Yeah. from the state, um and stuff and things like that, from Boston. So some of the people that we had there like they didn't know each other before so we're like you know what instead of just the wedding day them meeting each other or at the rehearsal meeting each other like it would be so fun for them to have like time to get to know each other um you know bonding time celebration time so it was amazing to see how seamlessly and smoothly everybody blended with each other and you see they have the vibe that they have they have together yeah was yo, so amazing so amazing like you would have thought that those people knew each other for years and thank you guys um thank you so love. much guys for the love the support the way that you guys you guys just embraced us like the Benedict, prayers we had and um, Tilsa, yes Sajelina, yo those three people we're gonna add their pictures in this um part of the of the video so you guys can see them and have an idea of who they are and they were basically coordinators of our wedding Tita took care of me fully like she had my phone throughout the day she didn't let me know anything that was going on throughout the wedding day because I wanted that because I wanted like a peaceful um, not having to worry about anything so she knew how to take care of everything when it comes to the wedding and making sure everything is in place Benedict was like our chauffeur, like with like the guests. Like it was just like those three people we have no word. Let's get into year one. Year one, Stan came into the state. We had no cars first. But then we thank God we were blessed with a car. So that was helping a lot. 
the Lord's still waiting for some stuff to get together for him to get work and stuff like that that took a little bit um then we had a car accident yeah in November and that was a hit for us in our marriage wait like it was big time like uh, so November came Shit. accident happened so no car then was able to use the car to help financially um but we were able to use the car so i was the only one working and with that came a downfall because financially we were like held in a corner basically and that brought us to a very dark place what happened that like kind of get us out of that state it was a uh, bad that moment affects us in every point in our life, solely, emotionally, emotionally, spiritually, spiritually yeah. that we can move yeah. and we can go to church sometime yeah. to, to go or to make grocery. Um, yes. It was like food, like it was really hard. Really hard. We had faith, and I know. It's not gonna be for a long time. I know it's a process. Um, I was very, very confident that God gonna do something for us, and this is what He do now. Yeah, that what happened? Yeah, and we thank God. Yeah, and I think like that moment also like was kind of like a weak spot for us to see how the enemy can use our struggles to instead of us fighting our struggles we're seeing that we're fighting against each other in a sense of like seeing each other as the enemy instead of like seeing that oh we're going through something that is really hard let's fight what we're going through it was a moment of like us just sitting down and i could tell like you were like just done that's when i realized i was like dang we're destroying each other what we have after god is each other so we can't afford to lose each other i had to come to a point i feel like you know what i'm gonna humble myself as a woman and i'm gonna apologize to my husband for how we've been treating each other and that's when god had a moment god literally took that moment it was spirit led we started talking open up to each other talked about our childhood things that um we went through um in our childhood moments that impacted how we treated each other um we prayed we had our intimate time with each other and with god um and that moment just sealed itself and i remember in the spiritual there was a breakthrough that happened like we can tell like there was a spirit that was that fun a, a, a kind of weak spot in our marriage and and it was um, doing so many damages and in that moment God literally delivered us from that spirit. God started just blessing us because we humbled ourselves in a sense of God used us. We don't want ever to go back to that moment because we know how it feels to f be in a moment where we feel like we're losing each other or we're losing what God has given us as a blessing. So we thank God for that moment because that moment was a, um, a shift in our marriage. Um, so a lot of the things like that I feel like we're portraying people might not see that oh they probably not struggle they probably like don't go through a lot of things and stuff like that but <laughs> we went through I guess hell in a sense that way we can experience the glory of God in our marriage and of course we still go through like daily stuff like you know things that you know annoys me frustrates him but we would never get back to get the back, moment. Uh, yeah, that, that we, was a bad, bad, bad moment that we and experienced. We learn. We have more grace, more understanding. more understanding. Um, even like when we're frustrated, we're thinking before we say anything. That way we don't even. Not only because we don't want to hurt each other, we don't want to hurt what God has placed within us, and we don't want to give that spirit um, a leeway to enter but afterward like we celebrated our car God made a way and things like that like Stan got a good job and to see all that God did in one year was amazing to see it's not detailed guys but it's like summarized for yeah. first year so let's get into the question the questions
All right. First question: How's married life, honest? Married life is is beautiful. It, it's like a school. I know some people doesn't like school. <laughs> like there is so many things happen. Like you have to do your your work. You have to do so many things yeah. that you don't like. But at the end, you like school. Marriage is like a school too. You have to learn so many things. But at the end, you know you have to keep your relationship. Marriage is not easy. But I love marriage life. I love the analogy that you use as, as um, a school because I think in school, like you were saying, there's a lot of responsibility that comes mm -hmm. in school. There's like homework, a lot of rules, yeah. a lot of structure into school. But I think we can all agree that we love the atmosphere exactly. of school, exactly. especially if you are in a good school. Um, so if you have good friends, you have good teachers, you have good yeah. administrator, like that relationship that you get to create with your teachers teachers with your friends the playtime the fun time the creativity that comes with it all of that is good sometimes the the responsibility might take a little burden on you and be like mm, dang i don't want to go to school but you don't want to be out of school right exactly. be, if you are in a good school of course because of the 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 community that you've built with it so i think if you're in a good god-centered marriage guys i'm so sorry for outside in the noise Sorry guys, but yeah, I think that's what school is. So like what <laughs> marriage is or um, is like the atmosphere that you cultivate, especially if you're in a God-centered marriage and you are very intentional about keeping God in the center. And when I say that, it's not just like we're Christians. It's about, you know, how we talk to each other. Is it reflecting Jesus? You know, um, the atmosphere that we're creating, is it inviting to the Holy Spirit? Next. That's a good one. How did you know it was God's will for you to stay in a long distance relationship? Como te fait connait que c'est de volonté de Dieu pour te rester dans une relation à distance? Good question. Um, I knew I'd be at, um, when I was when I was at school, but yeah, okay. the first the first thing I know, I see her and I say, "Yo, she's a good woman. I don't have to let it go." And I know she's gonna move to the state. I'm gonna be an 80, but I know, I know, and some something inside me, like say, yo, you don't have to let it go. You have to keep her, even if the this thing. Like I always say, I talk to Abby to I, I say Abby, you're gonna be my wife. You always say that. I, I always say that. that. <laughs> you're gonna be my wife. And you always had that. Like for me, it was cocky, but it was, a, I guess, a godly confidence. I can say now. Um, but I always pray to. Yeah. And I say, God, if it is yeah, your yeah. will, it's gonna happen. Long distance relationship is not easy, but the thing is, you have to talk with your person often. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. Every single day. Sometimes we we. Get sleep on the phone, and the phone, yeah. and I can wake up. I see my phone. Oh, Abby, you are in the call. I know God. Talk to me. She's, he saved me. She's gonna be your wife. Even if sometimes we have um, trouble. Yeah, we had a lot of trouble. In our trouble. Yeah. We try to give up. Oh no, no, no! It's gonna be. It's not gonna happen. It yeah. can't. It can't work because it's not about the distance. When we travel, it's about her personal problem. And after a long time, I say, or oh, something, something saved me. Yo, don't worry. Um, for me, I would say it was a bit different. I didn't have confirmation from get go. I had peace uh, when, yeah, when going peace. into, um, when deciding to be like, okay, I'm gonna give it a chance and still date. Um, distance um, at the beginning I joke about that that it was just like you know what what was the worst that could happen and also I had dreams um, of us um, together and Stan would tell me like the dream was us 
being married when I would explain that dream to you and we weren't even dating that point. And I was like, no, like, there's no way. And then there would be family members that have dreams of us. And I was like, mm mm. Like, there's no way I want that. But at some point, I, I started having feelings for him. And I was like, you know what? Let's try it. But in our relationship is when I started having confirmation that it was God's will in a sense of when we wanted to give up, God would not allow me to give up on what we have. Um, I would pray, I would cry out to God, and every time God would be like, see the grace that I'm extending you, why not extending it to him? Um, and it will always be a lesson that God wants me to see through what we're going through instead of me just giving up. Um, how was the honeymoon? <laughs> uh, <Side eye. laughs> um, the honeymoon was uh, so good. We, we enjoyed the honeymoon. We did it. I like scare. Yeah, we about weren't. what's gonna happen. happen. Like, yeah, it was so fun. It was fun for you? Yeah, it was so fun. It was, so, so, it was um, good. It was um, good. I think we didn't have unrealistic expectation of each mm -hmm, other. Mm -hmm. So we were open to whatever it would be. Um, we had patience. You had a lot of patience, yeah. so I was very grateful for that. So I didn't feel like I was rushed into something. Um, if I'm not feeling it, like he is okay to go past. Like okay, like these couple days is not it. Like we're gonna try like whatever, like you feel okay with. So I had peace with that. Um, he's a good listener, so um, having a good listener helps, especially as like you know us going into intimacy for the first time with each other and for the first time in our lives that was very important so and also we didn't only like that what the honeymoon is not only like the intimate moment physically like it's about the time that you spend with each other it's intimacy without yeah. um sex i would say even to like you know the talking the going to the beach enjoying each other like exploring learn, learn more about each other's each other why did it take you all six years to get married or break off the long distance relationship? That one is because I was in Haiti and I moved to Chile and she was in the state. Yeah, she was in college and I was in Chile. I know she have to prepare herself and I have to prepare myself too. But that's why, you know, time, it take time. It's not our fault it wasn't so easy to just shut the long distance i think the long distance um and uh, teach us to um so much so many things um how to how you can be patient with your yes. partner that helped me so much knowing each other more outside of just being physically together yeah and also when we got together we were super young yeah yeah i was you were 20 yeah i was 17. Next question, what was the hardest part of being in a long distance relationship? The thing is when, when you can you can you can have um, time with, with the person. Uh, you can go out with the person. Um, yeah. um sometime you like uh, you want to have um, physical moment with the person. Yeah. And that was so hard. It was. It yeah. was super hard. For me, it was it was that, um, and also seeing like other couples going out, and hearing that like sometimes like for fun like people say that like our relationship is not real because like we're not together or they've never seen him. <laughs> that would hurt me a lot, but kind of make me feel sad of like oh they they don't think what I have is real because we don't go out. Do you feel the first year was as hard as they? say or expected it to be um i think that's for for marriage um do you feel the first year was as hard as people say or as we expected it not really it's not hard but i think before i um like enter in marriage i was expect that marriage is not gonna be easy yeah that's why i'm not like like surprise, surprise or shock yeah, or shock yeah um if something happened but, yeah. um yeah i think it's like when you have a really high expectation uh, yeah. of marriage and you take like 
Oh, it's gonna be bliss. It's gonna be like happily ever after. after yeah. Like it's a joy like every day. Like yeah. Like if you have that kind of expectation, then yeah, of course you're gonna hit yourself in the wall. Mm. Like reality is gonna set. But um, if you think like you know, just like you go through hardship in your friendships, you're gonna go through hardships in your relationship with your husband as well. It's just to a different level because you guys have a different level of intimacy. And I like to say that the more access someone has to you, the more power they have to hurt you. Um, and sometimes it's not even them hurting you intentionally. It's just things that happen and you can see that as them hurting you. Um, so because there is a level of intimacy that is so high, then when that person act or say or there is something that happened, um, then that is impacting you. Do we feel like it was as hard as expected? Um, no, not like people say it was, but at the same time, there are things that we experienced that we didn't foresee. We had a good first year when looking at it overall. Something you wish you knew about married life and you would want singles to know before they married. Something that you wish you knew before getting married and hopefully look like sick luck and sit back on it before they get married. Dang. Because we are so open to just learning. Learning, yeah, that's why. Right. The thing you have to know um, before you get married, um, you have to be patient. Yeah, you have to be patient. Um, like, you have to f forgive. Yeah, you're gonna have to, a lot of forgive forgiveness. A lot of forgiveness. If you have pride, put out the window. And that's where God's gonna work in your and, pride. And then don't expect too much. Like, um, or you can expect, but yes. like. I was gonna say that. I was like, I feel like expectations, expectations can. Expectation like you have to have a balance. Balance, yeah. Yes, like you don't want to go into a relationship and be like, oh, I don't expect nothing. Like you know, like that's not okay because that means that you don't even have faith in your relationship. When you think about your relationship with God, um, you are expecting a lot from God because you have a big God. Mm -hmm. I know I have a good husband, so I'm expecting a lot from my husband, not only to serve me, to serve what God has placed within him. Like, and you have the same expectation for me. But you can you can have an expectation, but like it's like But the be same. open. Have be grace. Open. Yeah. And like just because they don't meet your expectations. Sometimes like, oh. sometimes you know God God can provide you everything but there is thing you ask God but He yeah. didn't give you. Yeah, that's good. You know? So you have to have the grace to be like you're still okay with that. Yeah. So if you have some expectation it's not being met you have to be okay with that. Yeah. Another thing I would say for girls who've never been like intimate before, I was gonna say like make sure that you actually like research about your body as a female because there are things that you are going to experience that you probably have never experienced before and you can freak out about them. But it's, the body is different. So like you know, go to a gynecologist, you know, know things that you need to know. Mm -hmm. So that way, like, you don't get shocked, you don't get surprised and stuff like that. Um, you research about things. Yeah, um, they, I think the only, that's the only thing we can, we can say, like, we didn't know before, we, before you get married. Like, yeah, like, the change that our body will, yeah, that is true. Like, we didn't really know how to support each other in that sense of, like, what do we do? Like, how do we go about it? Yeah. It's okay to be open to some extent about your relationship because that's how you get help. Mm -hmm. But also be wise about who you are open with and what you are open about. That's very important. Um, you can't be open to anyone and you can't be open about everything. Um, and that's only wisdom and God can give you discernment. So yeah. pray about that. Did you guys ever regret not dating anyone before each other? So if you didn't know, and that's probably someone who knows us, we didn't have any relationship prior to each other. We are each other's first boyfriend, mm -hmm. first girlfriend, first wife and last one too, um, first husband and last one too. So we talk with people like it's not like like um, a relationship. Yeah, it's like we had other encounters where people would yeah, like you know just kind of have talking talk. season with us yeah. or something, someone that. You know, you we would be interested in uh, like yeah. before we knew each other, but it was never like a committed relationship or a yeah. serious relationship. But did we regret that? Did you? Did no, I didn't regret in nothing. Um, no, I mean earlier in our relationship, before 
I used to think of like, oh, like, you know, I'm in college, like, you know, what if like I end up like, you know, wanting something new or like the fact that I never experienced anything, I can't compare it to anything. Well, honestly, being in marriage, I am so grateful for that. And I know this is not everybody's story. I think I don't have to sometimes think over my mar marriage, like another side, like, yo, I think it's gonna be better if I, like sometimes when you have trouble, you can, that's gonna, can happen to like, oh, yo, you can, Questioning yourself, like, yeah, what so, if I did this? Yeah. yeah, or even like if you had a relationship where comparing that, of like, yeah. dang, like my ex was better in that sense, or yeah, that person was better. So, we thank God we don't have that. Um, and we rely a lot on God for just teaching us. Like, you can be taught through experience, but sometimes you don't have to go through it, don't have that mentality that oh, I have to go through it so i can know things like no like you can protect yourself from that like you know you can wait on god and let god teach you um yeah. so the last I, question in being in being married no i do not regret not dating anyone before each other because i love the fact that like he knows only me i don't know him last one oh no questions i love to see you guys blessing upon your union thank you um that's all the questions <laughs> Uh, thank you guys for if all you the have questions. More, guys, if you have if you have more more questions, you can ask more questions just on the comments. Comments. Yes, we might do another Q and A for you guys if you guys have a lot more questions. But thank you guys for following us. If you do not follow us on Instagram, go ahead and go follow us. It's Abby H A B Y underscore Stan S T E N because I do a lot of stands with A, but this one is with E. Oh. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all the questions that you sent Don't us. Don't forget to subscribe. Like this video. Comment down comment. below if you have more questions or what you just love about this video. And we'll see you in another like vlog. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't or if you're new. Bye. 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 Bye.